Hey guys, it's Anthony coming with another video. If you like this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and uh, click the notification bell and share this video around if you uh, like it. Anyway, uh, today the information I got is almost for the dead mall community, especially the guys that make YouTube archives and videos and whatnot. We're talking about the Voorhees Town Center in Voorhees, New Jersey, or the Echelon Mall, it depends on who you talk to. The mall was built in 1970, quick background, built in 1970 by the Rouse Company. It had two anchors, it was uh, Lit Brothers and Strawbridge and Clothier. Around 1976, the mall was expanded. Now the mall had two different sides. The mall, the new wing was anchored by a J.C. Penney. They later built a Sears onto it in the late 90s. That wing and the other wing the one wing, the original wing, 1970 wing, is a small wing, a lot of zigzags, short ceilings. It's got the big food court. And then the old wing was kind of like the Burlington Center Mall. It had a big ceiling, skylights, and uh, you felt small. Now, <clears throat> this is the only mall that died twice, in my honest opinion. It died in the 2000s, the first time. The Echelon Mall died in 2003-ish, when J.C. Penney and Sears pulled out of the mall. It completely deserted half the mall. Pre it, Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust, they bought the mall from the Rouse Company, and they, uh, they began to reinvent the mall. They chopped down the new wing with J.C. Penney. They put up a town center boulevard, very popular to this day. While the other half of the mall kind of got filled up again, and they, they remodeled it. As of today, that part of the mall is dead again. It died. So basically what they did was, they like revived the mall, but they only revived it to the point where it can sit on a breathing machine in the hospital until it finally passes. Anyway, the mall present day has one place left in the food court, and I think one retail store left in the whole mall. It's a Bath and Body Works. It still has Boscov's. Brandywine Realty Trust is going to redevelop the mall, so we say. So let's rewind that a bit. Voorhees in 2008, the township tried to eminent domain the mall from its new owner, Namdar Realty, who specializes in dead malls and strangling them and repurposing the land. Now, Voorhees doesn't want that to happen to the mall. The guys in charge in Voorhees Township, the mayor, the, the, po the politicians in Voorhees, they have a soft spot for this place. So they're trying to keep the building and the mall itself around, try to take the mall from its owner. They, they linked up the current owner with a new redeveloper, Brandywine. If you go look this up, you'll see all articles about turning the mall into uh, the food court into a beer court and turning it into a new uh, recreational center, kind of like a downtown inside. But a uh, COVID pandemic happened and then Brandywine backed out of the deal. So currently the mall stands with no redeveloper. It's dying a slow, painfully slow death. Nothing left in the building except a few things, doctor's office, municipal offices, uh, kickboxing studio. There's nothing left as of 2020. The mall might never recover, but apparently Voorhees Township is still, uh, they still want to do something. They said most of the legwork for the redevelopment is done. They just need a new redeveloper to come in and take on the project, which is a little iffy right now, but the light at the end of the tunnel is here for the COVID pandemic. So we could start seeing some kind of boom going on. Retail, physical in-store retail. They're not talking about this in the news. They keep talking about retail apocalypse and Amazon and all these online stores putting stores out of business. But around here, as soon as they open all these stores back up again for in-store shopping, they've been mobbed ever since. Retail stores, brick and mortar stores are still thriving. They're thriving more than they have in the past 15 years at this moment. Cause people are, what do they call that? Uh, stir crazy. They can't sit in their houses for too long. So now they redeveloped this mall. They're going to, but they can't cause they, the, the developer backed out. So the mall is currently sitting empty with nobody planning on doing anything to the mall. Now, I'm not a millionaire. Otherwise, I'd do it for the township. I'd save the place. I mean, this wasn't my go-to mall when I was a kid. I've been there, though, 
I've been there when the mall was still Echelon Mall. My mom used to work in there. She used to run a Payless store. I bought my bunk beds there. My parents did when I was a kid. We used to go there occasionally, but the mall is dead. I'm only making this video because a whole community of people seem to appreciate this stuff. And I wanted to let them know where that mall stands in 2020. Burlington Center just up north is another one. That's gonna get turned into a warehouse and a strip mall. But I'm just throwing that in there. This is for that community. The mall currently sits like 90% vacant. It's got a Boscov's and Strawbridge. It, the mall is the original size as it used to be. That Strawbridge turned into a Macy's. It's been sitting empty since 2017. They're not gonna be able to eventually use that building because the longer it sits, the longer it deteriorates. And it is got some, it looks like wood or problems, wood or damage. When you step inside the building, sometimes they'll have the doors open up to the empty department store, airing it the place out, and they'll have a tube running through it. Looks like they're airing the place out. It's got a lot of moisture in the air. Yeah, so that's where that place, that's where it stands. I mean, the deputy mayor, I think, is what it's called. Deputy Mayor Ravitz is his name. His family owned shop rights in that area. They once talked about putting a shop rights store at that Macy's, but I highly doubt that that's going to happen. They have a newer store, not even a mile up the road. That's probably from about the mid 2000s. It used to be a stop and shop or something like that. One of those old grocery stores that just don't exist in this area anymore. So the mall itself stands empty as of 2020 with no plans in the future to do anything about the mall. The mall is probably going to have to close down eventually, but I really doubt that because um, Voorhees isn't going to let it happen. So that's where we stand in 2020.